Hi, my name is Dr. Udraman and through the Oral Health Channel, today we are going to be talking about Oral Varicose Hyperplasia. Let's start. So today is a very interesting episode as a patient of mine inspired me to make this episode. The patient had come, I cannot obviously divulge the details, but the patient had come to me with a plaque-like growth in the alveolar mucosa or the labial and buccal mucosa junction, which showed exophytic growths and I wanted to see it and I went into the literature to find out that this patient had already undergone a biopsy and the biopsy said oral varicose hyperplasia. Now, since cancerophobia is spreading like wildfire because of the fact that the cancer is are also spreading like wildfire inclusive of oral cancers. I thought it is my social responsibility to educate and make everyone aware of something known as oral varicose hyperplasia. Oral means related to the mouth, varicose means like a growth like thing and hyperplasia basically is the scientific term for the growth in the number of cells. So now usually the oral mucosa has an adaptive response towards chronic irritation in such cases tobacco products, aracoline products, araconut products, smoking and all these irritants that occur right because of the fact that you have a tobacco consuming habit. Now this chronic irritation induces some sort of metabolic changes, some sort of um, DNA changes in the oral mucosa and the mechanism of the cells to produce such growths which are known as oral varicose hyperplasia. Now to be very honest oral varicose carcinoma is a variant which is the cancer of varicose type of the oral cavity. Now they are very similar in terms of microscopic characteristics. However, oral varicose hyperplasia can be treated without having any, you know, uh, you know, compromise on the quality of life compared to oral varicose carcinoma. What you really need to understand is that it is definitely a pre-malignant lesion. That means oral varicose hyperplasia is a pre-malignant lesion which has a lot of propensity for it to get converted into varicose carcinoma. It usually happens in the 6th to 8th decade and it does not have a gender predilection. However, it has a very strong association with arachnoid chewing habits, tobacco habits and smoking related habits. So if you are someone who is undergoing through such an ordeal and you are still consuming tobacco or still smoking, I would strongly strongly recommend you not to do so. Stop the habit, get your lifestyles in check, start eating better, start taking more water, get it followed up every 3 months. How do you differentiate? Uh, clinically, there are two types of forms. You have the, um, the mask-like and the plaque-like. Now, the mask-like oral varicose hyperplasia has been known to cause more varicose carcinomas in studies. However, for both the type of lesions, that is the mask-like and the plaque-like varicose hyperplasia, you have to be very watchful. Try to get it either ablated or, you know, with the help of photodynamic uh, therapy or laser excision get it excisioned out with the help of an oral surgeon and send it for biopsy for analysis. On top of that, a recall and review is very important for every three months post excision. Uh, it has been shown to show a high rate of recurrence and that is why the recall and review is very important for every three months post excision. And on top of that, you have to keep yourself aware of any other untowardly signs and symptoms such as unexplained weight loss, uh, loss of appetite, you know, loss of energy, lassitude, night sweats, these kind of things which might give you an idea of something more grave that might be happening. But if it's caught at the right stage and if it's diagnosed histopathologically as oral varicose hyperplasia, you can stop it in its tracks with just a regular follow-up and making sure that your habits have been taken care of. So this was today's episode. Please like, share, subscribe and do press the bell icon button for important updates. If you want to get in touch with me, here are my social media handles. Kindly refrain from calling me directly as I might be busy with patients. Just drop me a message with your name, your location and the common oral health problem that's giving you pain and discomfort. And I'll get back to you on WhatsApp within a couple of days. Try to be patient and try avoid calling me because I might be busy with patients or otherwise. And if you have any queries, doubts, apprehensions, insights or suggestions, please feel free to put them in the YouTube comment section. So that's it for today. Thank you.